up, guys? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I am... So many of you have asked me to do this for a really, really long time. Sainsbury's makeup. I don't really have a Sainsbury's too near me, but I had to go like near the area where there is one. And long story short, I, I picked up a lot of their makeup. They have so much stuff. I, I remember when they had like blushes. I feel like they had a few products like a few years ago, but they now have a full range of everything. They've got like liquid highlighters, different types of concealer, setting spray, like all you could possibly want to do a full face. So that's what we're doing today. But yeah, like everything is Pretty affordable, I feel like most things were under a fiver. It's got the little leaping bunny on the back, so I'm guessing everything is cruelty free. But yeah, I went into that Sainsbury's and I hadn't been there for so long because it was an area that I used to live like a few years ago. And I went in there and the whole aisle of like makeup and beauty stuff is completely decked out. It looks like a freaking Selfridges. But yeah, I saw the stand, like I said, it was all packed out with a whole load of stuff. So today I'm gonna check it on my face. We're gonna do like a little wear test, all the huge, and um, yeah, let's just get into it. I'm just slapping a basket at this point. Okay, just had to go to the post office. I did my hair just before. It looks so much better than this, and now I'm all windswept, but I'm just gonna knock it back with some clips and then check on some ears. Ugh. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the primer. This is called the Smoothing Primer. They have, I think, like three different types, but this one says it reduces the appearance of pores. So I'm gonna take a bit of that. Okay, it's like a clear liquid that, yeah, seems kind of silicone-y. So I'm just gonna press that into my nose and on my chin. This one does feel more of like a gel, like of a sort of like a blendable liquid because I find things that pour professional, even though I love it, you do have to kind of press it as opposed to like massaging it in your skin. Not bad. Hard to always tell with a primer, but it hasn't balled up, hasn't done anything like that. And it was quite nice to apply. So, so far so good. So now I move on to foundation, which is where the fun kind of starts. I love finding super affordable foundations. This one is called the Serum Foundation. It says lightweight feel, radiant glow, healthy looking skin. And obviously I'm quite fair at the moment and I do have some bronzes and stuff to try out. So I think this one might be a little bit too fair for me, but I should be able to warm it up. I got it in the shade Ivory. So it comes with a pump, nice. So I'm gonna take this big brush I've been using from Zoeva. So it's a powder brush, but I've just been using it for my foundation. So let's see where we get with this. Okay. Ooh, it does look quite healthy. I mean, I haven't even blended it all out yet, but the way it's blending out, like it does, it is a serum foundation. Like some places, some I say, yeah, it's a serum foundation. You're just like, you're just saying that because it's like a buzzword, but this does seem really, really thin in consistency, but it's giving a nice sort of healthy coverage. Just slapping that on my face, basically. So I'm really just like buffing that into my skin. Honestly, it doesn't really look like anything on my skin at all, but it's covered up. I had like a spot here and you can see it's evened me out quite a bit, but it really hasn't given me like a full cake load of coverage, but it's given me coverage. It's kind of pretty invisible on the skin. It's quite different to like my usual everyday foundation, but I so far love how this is looking. Dude, this looks good. I look a bit like a ghost right now, but this looks so good on my skin. So now I'm moving on to concealer. I bought two different colors of the concealer that I'm probably gonna use the most of. So I got one in the shade, God, I don't even know. Uh, I got light and then I also got medium. That was anticlimactic, thought it was gonna be like a fun name or something. But then I also got this one called the two-in-one concealer and brightener and I got this one in the shade light. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is maybe I'll start off with this one because I feel like it's gonna be less coverage. So it's a twisty top, come on. Come on, I believe in you. So I'll try that under my eyes first. I'm pro let's face it, I'm probably gonna go over the top with the other concealer, but I just wanna kind of see what this one can do. I mean, I want more coverage because I just love tons and tons of coverage under my eyes, but that has done wonders for my under eyes. And it looks like nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing at all? Nothing at all! So now I'm gonna go in with the moisturizing concealer and this says it has vitamin E and aloe vera, high coverage, Natural look, those words are exactly what I wanna hear. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter one. I mean, it might be too light. It's, it's a very thin consistency. Uh, I think I prefer the other one. Um, I'm actually gonna try this one here because it might just be because it is so light. I mean, this one here is still pretty fair. It's such a thin formula. So I'm like, how can you give me that much coverage? Not bad. I mean, I wanna see how it powders down everything. It's not bad, but it's not great. I would just fully disagree with the fact that this has full coverage. I would say this is actually more of like a light coverage, like light to medium if you build it up. Full coverage? No, 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 no. Ooh, you know what though? I'm not, I'm worrying about this foundation now because I feel like it's not like staying on my skin too well. Maybe I just need to blend it out a bit more. Like maybe it needs to just be set down. Give you guys a little close up. 
I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> well, normally comes in twos. <coughs> That should be it. I always sneeze in twos. I don't know why. Okay, so now before I go in with the liquid highlighter, because I do tend to find that I like liquid highlighter as I've kind of set down my base a little bit, I am going to go in with their loose powder. So this is just called the HD Illuminating Finishing Powder. So it just looks like this. Standard. Ice and sugar. So this is the bit that I'm nervous about because I'm not dead set on the concealer and I'm a little bit wary about the foundation now. So I'm like... I don't want to add too much powder and make it look bad. So I'm just going to make sure that I blot everything down on my under eyes and on the side of my face. I've taken a tiny little bit there and I'm just going to go for it. It's a very, very finely milled powder. So far, so good. Interesting. I thought this was going to look worse. I really did. I'm sorry, Sainsbury's. I don't really have much faith in you right now. I am taking the tiniest amount of powder as well. I think as it is so finely milled, it's not making me look too matte, which is a good thing. I mean, it definitely is mattifying, but it's not, it's not like adding anything to my base. It's just kind of taking away the shine. So in short, I've um, got a pretty good feeling about this. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's a bit more matte, slightly more matte than I would normally like, but also, I mean, I've only just put it on. It might sort of settle down a little bit when I put setting spray on and everything. So now I'm gonna move on to a little bit of liquid highlighter. So this one here is in the shade pink. They also had one that was kind of like a champagne-y, bronzy sort of color, but it looked a little bit too dark for me. But yeah, they literally had everything. They had like foundation lightening drops, darkening drops. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, it does look very pretty. Ooh, okay, Sainsbury's, hello. Dot some of that on the high points of my cheeks. It's quite a thick liquid. I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge here and just dot it on and just sort of blend it. Okay, I need to stop because now it is taking off my foundation a bit. I might be able to save it by blotting it down with my brush. Don't think I'm into that. I mean, it just kind of, it's better with a brush, but it does just kind of blend out to nothing. Like I've got a bit more shine on my cheekbones, but I mean, I'm about to put a whole ton of powder highlighter on. So yeah, I mean, if you were to wear this by itself, you wouldn't really get much payoff really because it's just it's just not that intense. One thing you could do with this though, like I won't let this go to waste, I'll probably just mix it with my foundation or something just to make it look a little bit more glowy sometimes. But yeah, a little bit of glow, but not enough to put an extra step into my makeup routine and just, yeah, not, not really a fan of that, but I'll make use of it. So now something that I almost didn't pick up, but I knew some of you guys would just want me to try it anyway, is the Velvet Blusher. So this one is in the shade Pink Rose. And as you can see, it's like a liquidy sort of gel kind of situation. I don't really know what it is. I mean, the way that that highlighter's just messed up my foundation a bit, I should be able to cover it up with powder highlighter in a minute. No, 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 no. Okay, nope, nope. It's just separating a bit. I'm trying to save it a little bit here, but... No, no. Damn it, I, I want to really like this stuff. Oh my God, it's gone complete... Oh my God, it's gone so patchy. Holy shit, that looks awful. That looks so bad, I have to take that off. Like at least my under eyes bit and redo that. That looks so bad, man. Jeez, I'm actually ready to just sack off this entire video. I, I hate this. What the hell's happened? Like I liked it at the start and I was really into it. I wanna quit, I don't wanna do this anymore. I think that's literally the best that I can get it. This is just reminding me of like natural collection all over again. At least it kind of looks okay on this camera on the one that you guys are watching, but up close and on the macro and stuff, I'm just like, wow. How has putting on that much makeup made me look worse? Okay. Let's continue. So for my bronzer and contour, I have this palette here, which is called the contouring palette. And I think it just comes, I mean, it says the shade dark, but I'm pretty sure there was only one contour palette in my stand. Um, but yeah, we've got a fairly cool neutral toned contour shade there, warm tone bronzer, and then we also have a lighter sort of matte highlighting shade, which I personally don't tend to use, but it's good to have it there. So let's see how pigmented these are. Okay, they don't actually seem to be too pigmented, which is good. Right, can you just fix this just desert on my face right now, please? Are you kidding me? Are you, uh, what is going on? Why does that look so patchy? That just looks muddy. Oh my God, I'm so negative, I'm so sorry. I was so excited and now I'm just kind of like, I'm just butt hurt basically. I've been wanting to try this makeup for so, so long and I've had so many requests to try it and I'm just kind of like, I hate my face, I hate it. Like, I'm not imagining this right, it does look muddy. That looks just bad. But the thing is, is if I press it down with my foundation brush like I normally do, it just picks up all of my foundation. No. 
No, why? Maybe this could work on a better base. I'm just... Oh god, it just doesn't really stand a chance right now, does it? Okay, let's see if we can save it by just dousing my face in highlighter. So now I have this highlighting palette. It has three different shades in there. Let's give them a swatch. That one looks very, very subtle. That one looks very, very subtle. No, please, come on. Okay, let's try them. I mean, it just... There's a tiny bit of shine there. I want more. I do have this one though. This is called the Illuminating Strobing Powder. Let's see how stroby you are. Okay, maybe a bit better. It looks chalky. Come on, please, 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 please. Um, there's just like no shimmeriness to it. Stay positive, come on, Steph. Manifest a good highlighter. It's kind of there, but I'm putting on so much. I'm literally, normally I take a tiny amount like this, tap off my brush and that's what I use. With this, I'm literally picking it up like eyeshadow and putting a ton on there. That's like the only way that it's actually doing anything on my face. I'm gonna take this pink one instead because at the moment I'm just, I'll take anything I can get. Let's try this. That's better. It's not my favorite kind of color. It is obviously pink and I normally tend to go for something that's a bit more champagne-y. That is a better formula. So maybe I'll try and just do a little bit more of that on the rest of my face. Yeah, this pink one here is the only one that's just kind of doing anything for me, really. I'm still not really into it. I'm having to use quite a bit to make anything sort of show up, but at least it's doing something. My middle finger is out again. I don't need to point it at you. I need to point it at like, I'm not feeling this at all. I was so excited. I'm sorry, I'm so negative. I want to love something. So, so I'm looking quite dry and matte right now. So let's try and sort it out with a little bit of setting spray. It's called the, Matte setting spray, okay, scrap that idea. Um, improve skin's moisture and give a smooth effect. Okay, I need, I need that smooth effect right now. So it's got quite a nice spray. It smells like perfume. Just douse me in at this point, like what more could go wrong? To make my skin as wet as humanly possible and then hopefully it won't look as sort of flaky, basically, just crust. We'll see, I'll let it sort of settle down for a second. Maybe this could be our savior. It smells really good, so that's a positive. Um, yeah, we'll see how this looks in a second. But while I wait, I'm gonna quickly do my brows. So what do I have here? I have the Waterproof Brow Pomade, a eyebrow definer gel. I think this might just be a clear brow gel. Yeah, so just a clear brow gel. And then I also have the HD Brow Pencil and both the brow products, like the tinted ones that I got, were both in the shade Dark. So the brow pencil does just look like a lip liner, to be honest, like, this is a very, very thick pencil to do your brows with. I mean, you can you can see it just there, look. It's very thick. That's what she said. So first I'm gonna try out the brow gel. So I'm just gonna spike up my brows with that first. I normally like a smaller wand for my brow gel, but this one is actually almost like industrial size and it's gliding through my industrial size brows quite nicely as well. Oh, look, this I'm kind of into. Like, as long as it doesn't go crispy or white when it dries or anything like that. This actually seems pretty damn good. So now for my brows, I'm gonna go in with this brow definer pencil, the very, very thick one. I don't, I don't think I can do anything too precise with this, so I might just fill in like the bulk of my brows. And then I might try and do a few little hair strokes with the pomade in a second. I don't really know if that did anything to be honest. It's filling them in okay. I really wouldn't use this for anything other than just filling in like gaps in my brows but it has gotten rid of the little gaps that I had in my brows. Obviously I haven't done like my arch or anything like that. I will use the pomade for that. Um, to be honest, I'm probably gonna put this in my lip liner drawer as opposed to using it for my brows because I feel like that's that's so much more of a lip liner shape than a brow product and the color's banging. Yeah, it's, it's literally exactly the same component, exactly the same nib as a lip liner. So I, f I don't know, I feel like they've maybe just been a little more lazy with doing that. They could have made it like a thinner brow pencil or just even like a slightly different shape. Yeah, it's 100% the same product. It even says vitamin E, aloe vera, and jojoba. Only the lip liner one says lip loving formula. So now I'm gonna go in with the brow pomade just to like fill in my arch, do whatever. So I might not use this brush just because it is quite thick. I'm actually gonna use this tiny little paintbrush instead. I always use paintbrushes for eyeshadow brushes now. Let's see what the formula's like. That's more like it. That looks like a really, really good pomade. It's not too waxy, it's not too creamy, and it looks pigmented as well and just draw in a few hair-like strokes. That's so much better. Like, sack off the brow pencil or lip liner thing. Like, this is way better. We have some positives here. The brow pomade and the brow gel, pretty good. 
So now before I do my eyes, I'm gonna move on to my lips. So I picked up some of their lipsticks. Um, I think they have like a few different types. We have the Smooth Matte, so I got two of those. Uh, I also have one of the Moisturizing Lipsticks. And then I, I'm not necessarily planning on wearing this because I'll show you guys the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette looks like this. We've got some sort of warm tones in there. I think with a pink lip, I might do it for like a cutaway or something like that. But I did just want to try out one of their Moisturizing Lip Velvet. So I'm just gonna try that out now. Ooh, hang on, that actually looks kind of good. It's like, it's not like a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Oh my God, I screwed up there. It's not like a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. They're a lot more moussey, but it's kind of like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and one of those. I'm just putting it on very, very roughly for now, because like I said, I probably will do like a cutaway at the end or something wearing it. I don't think this is one of those liquid lipsticks that dry down. I think it does just stay like a little bit moussey, but just look very, very matte, which I do tend to kind of prefer. The color's nice though. Like I was looking at that, and I wasn't expecting it to necessarily come out that color. I was expecting it to be a lot more sheer. I feel like that could be really, really good actually. I mean, like I said, I'll try it out in a minute. I'll try it out in the cutaway and stuff and like the Instagram picture or whatever. Yeah, not my normal kind of color. I don't even normally wear liquid lipsticks, but I feel like that's actually pretty good. I mean, it's, it's super opaque as you can see and the color is intense. But yeah, oddly kind of into this, like oddly also kind of into this color. I never wear colors like this on my lips, but kind of like it. Okay, now let's take it off. It doesn't really seem to stain your lips either, which is good. So now for my lips, I really want to try out these lipsticks because they didn't have any testers or anything, but there were some that were open. So I got to look at a couple of the shades. But we have this one here, which is in the shade Umber and it's one of the matte ones. Like, look at this. I'm feeling pretty good about these because they look really, really pigmented. We also have the shade Cameo, which is another one of the matte lipsticks, which is a very kind of like peachy nude. And then I have one of the moisturizing lipsticks in the shade Marshmallow. So this one is a little bit lighter. Okay, it's definitely sheerer, and you can see it's a little bit more, a little more peachy almost. So I've got this lip liner here in the shade Mocha, which is quite a sort of warm, almost kind of like orangey nude. However, now I know what I know. I'm gonna use the eyebrow pencil because it's a lip liner. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. That's better. I mean, they're not very pigmented. You have to kind of like go over your lips quite a lot. I mean, I had to press quite hard. It's not the creamiest formula. But look, I'm really like trying to color in my lips there. Let's try the other lip liner to see how it compares. Yeah, okay, for a split second then, I was thinking maybe they are different products. Maybe it's just like the same kind of shape mold that they use, but even the actual lip liner isn't that pigmented. I love the color though. So I don't even really care too much. Like I'm just persevering because I love the color so much. Okay, that'll do. I love the color. I don't, I don't even want to say any more reviews on the products. That's not a very good lip liner. So now I think I might go in with this shade here. Uh, what was it called? Umber. And just do a little of this. Yes. I'm going to take some of the shade Cameo and put that in the center there. Create a little ombre. So now we'll finish up with eyes. So I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette here. They had, I think, three different eyeshadow palettes. This one is just in the shade Burgundy. And as you can imagine, we've got a whole load of Burgundy shades, a couple of neutrals. These colors here are like my least used eyeshadow color. But okay, they look very pigmented. Okay, don't, don't get too excited. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with this shade up here, which is just a very, very cool tone brown. It's like a matte shade. And I'm gonna blend that in my crease. I think I'm just gonna do something quite kind of smoky today. They've got quite a bit of kickback in the pan, but I mean, as long as you dust everything off, it should be fine. Really just deepen that crease there. Look at my cheek there. Why? Okay, so that I feel like actually looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in with the slightly deeper brown shade and I'll just dot that on my outer corner and then blend it out. It's like a slightly more chocolatey color brown. These actually look pretty damn good. These are blending out really, really nicely. They're pigmented, but they're not like difficult to blend. These, this could be good, this could be good. So now I'm kind of thinking I might take this shade down here because it's really, really nice kind of cool toned shimmery brown. Like I feel like I've done a lot of colorful makeup looks recently. So if I do just go for something a bit more neutral today, it's not that bad. Got this red shade, like a rusty, sort of red. Yeah, I'll start off with doing that one. And then if I do want to obviously change my mind, then it's easier to sort of cover it up with the burgundy shade. So I'm just gonna place that on the center of my lid. 
Let's try it with a bit of setting spray. It's there. I'm gonna go in with the burgundy because I feel like we can do better than that. I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'll just go over the top what I just did there. The colors are a bit underwhelming. Like they're nowhere near as bright as you would think. I'll try my finger. Like I always use my finger as a last resort, which is also what she said. That's better, it is better with your finger. I, because of my nails and stuff, I wanna use eyeshadow brushes. I find that you do get a better effect, um, but they are more intense if you do use your finger. I just feel like that's a bit underwhelming. I like the matte shades, but the shimmer shades, which are kind of like the main part of the palette, what is, what is going on here? Anyway, so now before I do the other eye, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. So this is called the Curl and Lift Mascara. They had like four or five different types of mascara there, but this one here has a plastic wand. So come on, can you save the day? There's so many good affordable mascaras on the market that I'm just like, come on, I believe in you. I mean, the wand's not really gripping to my lashes all that well. I feel like I need a bit of like a base to start off with. It's doing bits. It's not doing all the bits, but it's doing some of the bits. Maybe if I do a second coat, it might bulk it out a bit more. Might just kind of need something to cling onto, you know? It's a nice black formula. And I do feel like it's making my lashes look quite long, but it's not that great at separating. And I feel like I'm having to put in quite a bit of effort here. It looks nice. It looks absolutely fine. Um, it's quite a bit of effort to get it to look like this, which, I mean, again, isn't really a problem if you're willing to put in the effort, because obviously it is quite an affordable mascara. Okay, I'm now gonna go and do the other eye. I um, might touch up my lip liner or whatever, brow liner, whatever the hell you wanna call this stuff. And then I will see you guys for the finished look. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll do a check-in. Okay. See you in a sec. All right guys, so this is how everything is looking right now. It looks better than I thought it was going to right at the start of the video. I was so close to just going, screw this, like this just isn't working out. But it, it it's all kind of come together and it looks all right. Like if I had to go out with this makeup on right now, I would, I wouldn't think too much about it, but it's not my favorite. I wouldn't like choose to do my makeup like this. There's some areas of my face that look a little bit cakey. It looks a little bit separated on my chin. There's more creasing on my under eyes than normal. So it's just, I mean, you all saw me throughout this video reviewing all the products individually. I, w I wasn't really feeling too many of them. It's currently 18 minutes past 12. So I'm as always just gonna keep this on for a while, do a little wear test. We'll see how it all wears. Um, that's about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hello. So it is now, uh, what is it? Like half 10 in the evening. Ollie's cooking up some steak because our sleeping pattern is just completely ruined. And we've just made a Biscoff cheesecake. Well, I can't eat it until tomorrow because I have to leave it in the fridge. Anyway, you probably don't care about that. This makeup, I'm still not the biggest fan of it, but it's worn really, really well. I haven't touched up a single thing, not my lipstick, anything like that. And it's like, it's still kind of there. It's rubbed off, it's a little bit smudged, but you can still see my lips are defined. Like on close inspection, it looks kind of matte. It's creased a little bit. There's a bit more creasing under my eyes and like everything's kind of dulled down a little bit. Like the highlighter, which wasn't really that, that there anyway, that has dulled down a little bit but it's, it's still all kind of where I put it. Doesn't mean it's gotten better. Doesn't mean I'm suddenly amazed by it, but I will say, if you like these products, if these work on your skin, they do seem to last really, really well. I don't know, I feel like I've maybe been a little bit harsh about it. Like now it's like, I mean, I'm still, I'm still not loving just this part of my face. But I feel like if I try some of these products separately with like my everyday kind of makeup, like I said, the foundation with my everyday concealer and powder, and then maybe just like my everyday makeup look with the contour powder, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what my hair is doing. I feel like some of them could be all right. There's definitely some products I'm really not into, like the, the eyebrow pencil that's actually a lip liner. It's, I mean, the lip liners aren't that good, to be honest, you can find something way better for the price. I will be honest, the highlighters, weren't that great. A lot of like the, the liquid highlighter and then like the matte blush stuff. The matte blush stuff might be better on just kind of like bare skin with like very, very minimal coverage. I think my favorites would probably have to be the powder. Like I really kind of think the powder's good. I like the lipsticks. Maybe the foundation, I'm not 100% sure. I'll use it again with some other products and let you guys know. Um, but maybe, maybe the brow pomades, like the brow gel, they were pretty good. So guys, let me know what you thought of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know how you thought it wore. Let me know if I was maybe too harsh on some products or do you think, do you think just some of them sucked? Because sometimes some products just suck. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider giving it a little like, little thumbs up, that'd be great. 
And please also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I now upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays and I stream on Twitch a lot, so I will link that down below. And I've also just uploaded a new video on Ladies Man 69, which again, I will link down below. I become a worm. Who wouldn't want to see that? But yeah, apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.